is tight all monitoring and watching out every move. I'ma let you be the judge of this. But first, what is Tidal? Tidal is a music streaming service launched in 2014. And we know Tidal is up there with Apple Music. And I will say I was one of the first people to download Tidal Music. At. One day I was going through my phone and I seen that Tidal was taking up so much of my storage. And I said, well, why is Tidal Music app taking up all this storage? It's just a music app. You listen to music and that's it. And as you can see on my iPhone storage, I screen recorded this. Tidal was taking up so much of my gigabytes. You see right here, say last use today and this was... February 2nd, 2023. Being me, I goes to my app and go directly to Tidal to see why it's taking up so much of my space. Lo and behold, when I get there, I see tons and tons of saved information from Tidal that says partially watch or watch. And as you can see for yourself, there are so many videos that are saved and you can see it's tons and tons of it. What type of videos they was downloading, I don't know. And when I emailed them, they claimed that it was like videos that I watch on Tidal. Guys, I do not watch videos on Tidal. I only listen to music on title the only time i watch videos music videos is on youtube i even asked them well can you send me proof showing that it's these videos that you're saying i'm watching no response so that don't make sense if it's videos that i've watched why is it showing not yet watched as if they recorded something from my phone and didn't get to it yet that's what i take from it I don't know what you guys want to do with this information, but I've never watched videos on Tidal. Who turns on Tidal to watch videos? You turn on Tidal to listen to music, but I digress. I then called my phone company and I explained the situation to them. And at this point, I'm like a little shaken. Like, this is scary. My phone company told me when we get a new phone and we open that new phone and set it up, well, we are given permission for these apps to screen recorders to take what they want, to download what they want from our phone. And I then said, but is that legal for them to do so? And my my phone company told me, ma'am, it's out of my hands. I cannot control a third party app that you download and you pay for every month. At that point, I deleted my title account indefinitely for good. I don't know what you want to do with this information. Guys, be careful when you're downloading certain apps because again, when we get these phones, we're so excited and we stroll through the small fine print and we're given a lot of these apps access to our personal information without us even knowing. The scary part is we don't know what we're giving away. Are these apps watching our every move, watching our text message? A lot of times when we agree to these terms and conditions, we're giving these apps so much power over us. True story, there was this doctor who visited Disney Springs in Orlando, Florida. She had a fatal allergic reaction to the food while there. Her husband tried to sue because his wife signed up for a Disney Plus free trial prior to going there. He was not able to sue Disney and that fine print was something about you cannot sue us or take us to court. I'm not saying it's Tidal that is taking out information. I'm just giving y'all my experience from Tidal, what I've been through and my experience that I just shared with you guys. It's Tidal downloading our personal information for their own personal gain. You be the judge. Until next time, peace.